first word, and word words will come, and word words come. Hallelujah. You are the Father. You speak the word. That is your son. You are the Spirit. You are the Father. You speak the word. That is your son. You are the Spirit. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven Fill me till I want no more I want no more Bread of heaven, bread of heaven Fill me till I want no more I want no more Everybody You are the Father Speak the word. You speak the word. That is your son. That is your son. You are the spirit. You are the spirit. You are the father. You are the father. You speak your word. You speak the word. That is your son. That is your son. You are the spirit. You are the spirit. Bread of heaven. I am so excited to welcome you to church today from wherever you are joining to watch us in the United States, from Canada, from Australia, from the Great Britain, from Lagos, from Abuja, from Ilori, right here where our church is situated. This is Believer's Heritage Baptist Church, Ilori, where God is equipping saints, building destinies, transforming lives and molding them for future exploits. On behalf of the lead pastor, Pastor Bolaji Odejide, I welcome you to church today and I pray that the good Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. This is Believer's Heritage Baptist Church in Lorry and it's a warm place where God has prepared to build the saints, to mold his people. It's a place where you can get the atmosphere of true worship, where you can mingle with believers and build your faith and become better equipped for your life in this time. In such a time as this, I encourage you to always join us at church where you will hear inspiring messages, thought-provoking speeches by great men of God, most of the time championed by our lead pastor, Pastor Bola Jejide. You're always welcome to join us and I assure you that your life will be blessed, your destinies will be transformed and your future will be secured in Jesus' name. I welcome the old, I welcome the young, I welcome everybody, the students, the worker, the artisan to church. And I assure you that whatever is your situation, whatever is your problem. God is always here. God is always here to meet your needs. God is always here to lift your burdens. God is always here to bless you. God is always here to speak to you. 
the Holy Spirit is always here to touch your heart. Be assured of a very warm worship in the house of God. I pray that as you constantly join us, your life will be blessed, your destinies will be transformed, your bodies will be lifted, and your family will be equipped for a greater future. Don't forget to always follow us on Sundays and on Wednesdays where we discuss various issues with marriage, family, relationships, and lives are always touched. Don't also forget to always join us via any of our social media platform. You can join us via Facebook Live. You can join us on YouTube. You can follow us on Instagram. Please don't forget to subscribe and like our platforms. By this, you'll be able to be updated by everything that is going on and what God is doing in this house. I pray that the Lord will continue to bless you and God will continue to uplift you in Jesus' name. Once again, welcome to church and you will be blessed. Yes, the Lord is good. Hey, hey, my God is good. Oh. Hey, hey, my God is good. Oh. Hey, hey, my God is good. Oh. Hey, my God is good. Oh. Hey, hey, my God is good. Oh. Hey, hey, my God is good. Oh. Hey, 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 my God is good. Oh. Hey, Yes, the Lord is good. In the morning when I wake up, I will dance and sing to you. For you have been my help forever and ever. Hey, hey, my God is good. Oh. Hey, my God is good. Oh. Hey, 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 my God is good. Oh. Hey. I'm not seeing you. My God is good. Oh, my God is good. Oh, my God is good. Oh. Hey, my God is good. Oh, I ask for peace. Oh. He gave me blessing. Oh, I ask for blessing. Oh. He gave me blessing. Oh, I ask for happiness. Oh. He gave me blessing. Oh, I ask for joy. Oh. He gave me joy. Oh. Hey, my God is good. Oh. Hey, my God is good. Oh, hey, Lue, Lue, my God is good. Oh. Oh Lord, at the end, let your way salute. Oh Lord, at the end, let your way salute. Oh Lord, at the end, let your way salute. Oh Lord, at the end, let your way salute. Oh Lord, at the end, let your way salute. Oh Lord, at the end, let your way salute. Oh Lord, at the end, let your way salute. Oh Lord, at the end, let your way salute. Many many blessings, many blessed blessings. At your way, salute to all. Oh, at your way, salute to salute to all. Oh, Lord, at the hello, at your way, salute to all. Oh, Lord, at the hello, at your way, salute to all. 
Lord, at the end of your way, salute you. Oh Lord, at the end of your way, salute you. For the many, many blessings, many, many blessings, oh, at your way, salute you. Oh Lord, at the end of your way, salute you. Oh Lord, at the end, at your way, salute you. Oh Lord, at the end, I show a salute. You are the most high. 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 You are the most high God. 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 You're the most Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Oh, oh, oh. His words are yeah, amen. Oh, 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 amen, amen, amen. Can we sing? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, oh, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah! Oh oh oh! Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah!
Good morning. Welcome to service today. I hope you are safe at home, you and your family. I want to welcome you powerfully into today's service. We are so happy you are tuning in to join us today. From wherever you are watching us from, from all over Nigeria, from all over the world, we are so happy to be here to give you the word of life. In this season, we don't want you to be afraid. We want you to hold on to your joy, hold on to your hope, hold on to Christ. Christ is always here for you and we are always here for you. Also, we want you to stay tuned to us. Follow us on all our social media platforms. You can follow us on Facebook. You can follow us on Instagram. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also click on the notification button to get prompt notification of all our videos from our lead pastor, Pastor Balaji Odejide. I'm sure you're going to be blessed in the worship session. You're going to be blessed in the word session. Please stay safe. Be sure our pastor is praying for you. God bless you. Excellent greatness, praise him, praise him, ever in joyful song. Praise him, praise him, Jesus, our blessed Redeemer, heaven porters, Lord, we don't son as we. Jesus, Savior, reign us forever and ever. Crown Him, crown Him, prophet and priest and king. Christ is coming over the world victorious. Power and glory unto the Lord belong. Praise Him, praise Him. Tell of his excellent greatness, praise him, praise him, ever in joyful song. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the first Sunday in the month of May. The Lord is faithful. The Lord is good. Oh, God has answered our prayers and we need to appreciate him. Wherever you are, just lift up your two hands to heaven and praise his holy name. Wave it and say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, you are faithful. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are kind. We worship you. 
we worship you. You have fulfilled your word over our life. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Thank you for yet another Covenant Sunday of miracle, Covenant Sunday of provision, Covenant Sunday of signs and wonders. We give you praise, Father. Father, we thank you this morning. We bless you for what you are set to do in our life, in our home, in our work. We give you praise. Thank you for your preservation over our life. We give you praise. Lord, let your word come with power. Let there be signs and wonders. Somebody trusting you for a major miracle, let it be released now. Let your word come to set to everyone. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. This is another month. I want to thank God because it's a covenant day of signs and wonders. You are going to experience a greater miracle in the name of Jesus. By the special grace of God, for this covenant Sunday, I will be speaking on next level of glory. Next level level of glory somebody under the sound of my voice wherever you are god is moving you to your next level of glory in the name of jesus god is taking you to your next level of glory in the name of jesus is a prayer service where god will be rotting signs and wonder wherever you are receive a push a shift to your next level of glory in the name of jesus second corinthians uh, chapter 3 verse 18 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 But we all with open face beholding as in a glass Some other scripture says as in a mirror The glory of the Lord are changed into the same image From glory to glory From glory to glory Even as by the Spirit of the Lord. This is the promise of God for us in the month of May. We are moving from glory to glory. From glory to glory in the name of Jesus. I have a conviction in my spirit that this month is your month of moving to your next level. Our God is not a static God. Our God is a moving God. Our God is a dynamic God. Our God is God that keep consistently moving, that consistently move to another dimension, another level. That is why our God wants you to also resemble him in everything you are doing. God wants you to be like him. God wants you to carry his image that every time he moves, you move. Every time he advances, you advance. Every time he enter into another realm of glory, you also enter. Can I announce to somebody here in the mighty name of Jesus, you are moving into your next level of glory in the name of Jesus. You are staying too long in a place. You need to move forward. You need to move forward. You need to move forward. I decree in the mighty name of Jesus, move in the name of Jesus, our God never fade away. You will not fade. That glory will not fade. Our God never fade away. His radiance is without limit. Hallelujah. His radiance is without limit. The radiance of God over your life, brother, over your life, mommy, over your life, sister, we know no more limits in the name of jesus you advance you move in the mighty name of jesus his plan for us as a believer is also to resemble him is also to be like him is also to walk in an unending glory in every ramification you don't have to remain in a place. You need to move. Because your God is moving. You need to move. You need to advance. Because our God is advancing. So his plan for us is to resemble him. To move like he has created us with glory. 
then we should reflect the glory. Let me announce to somebody, wherever you are, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are reflecting God, that glory. You are reflecting God's 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 glory. God, in his initial plan, does not want you to remain in a place. In his initial plan, he never wants you to be static. In his initial plan, he never wants you to, to, to be begging for bread. That is why he said, my children will not beg for bread. Can I speak to somebody? Wherever you are and you are listening to me, I command in the mighty name of Jesus, you won't beg for bread. You won't beg for bread. You won't beg for bread. In the name of Jesus. One thing that attributes my God, your God, is that he always moves forward. And when he moves forward, he wants you as his child to move forward. Deuteronomy chapter 1 from verse 6 to 7. Deuteronomy chapter 1, 6 to 7. The Bible says, And the Lord our God spoke unto us in Ole, saying, Ye have dwelt long enough in this mountain. Oh, ye have dwelt long enough in this mountain. Ye have dwelt long enough in this mountain. You have dwelt long enough in a rented apartment. Move. I see divine provision coming your way. Wherever you are right now, I see divine provision coming your way. God is building a house for you. In the name of Jesus, you have dwelled long enough in that job that is paying limited money. God is moving you. God is expanding your course and enlarging your territory. Move! And the Bible says in verse 7, turn you and take your journey and go to the mount of the Amorite. Move up. I hear a voice for somebody. Wherever you are in the name of Jesus, you are moving forward. You are moving forward. You are moving forward. You are moving forward in the name of Jesus. God wants you to enlarge. God wants you to enlarge. First Chronicle chapter 4 verse 10. God wants you to enlarge. It's a story of Jabez. A day came, Jabez came to God and he prayed. He said that thou may enlarge my course. First Chronicle chapter 4 verse 10. That thou may enlarge my course. I hear a word for somebody here by the word of the Lord. The Lord is enlarging your course. The Lord is enlarging your course. It does not matter where you are now. It does not matter what you are seeing now. God enlarge your course. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 3 says enlarge your course. Enlarge your course. I hear a word of command for somebody. Enlarge your coast. Enlarge your coast. Enlarge your coast. God rises for you so that you can enlarge. In the name of Jesus. Uh, God wants you to shine brighter. God wants you to shine brighter and brighter. Brighter and brighter. Brighter and brighter. Oh, Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18. The Bible said, but the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth brighter shineth brighter shineth brighter unto the perfect day I announce over you you are shining brighter and brighter ah, you shine brighter you shine brighter everyone waiting for your shame will be put to shame you are shining brighter Everyone waiting for your shame will be put to shame. You are shining brighter and brighter. The purpose and the plan of God for you is to grow from faith unto faith. From faith to faith. Romans 1 17. The Bible says, For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. The righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. So faith as it is written the just shall live by faith. can I speak to somebody everywhere 
you have been failing. Faith will make you triumph. In the name of Jesus, everywhere you have been failing, faith will make you triumph. In the name of Jesus, God, what part of his plan is that you move from faith to faith, from faith to faith. Receive grace. Receive grace to activate your faith to enter into uncommon dimension of glory. In the name of Jesus. God wants you to prosper. Hallelujah. God wants you to prosper. You shall prosper. You will prosper in the land. You will prosper in the strange land. You will prosper in that place you find yourself. I speak that place might not be your country, but you will prosper there. In the name of Jesus, you will have a bountiful harvest. In the name of Jesus. Look at what the Bible says in 3 John, verse 2. The Bible says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good earth. Somebody is here under the sound of my voice. You will prosper in earth. 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 Every earth that is failing you, cease now. In the name of Jesus. Every earth that is failing you, cease now. In the name of Jesus, I speak by the word of the Lord. You will prosper in it. This is the plan of God for you. That you may prosper. You may prosper. You may prosper. You may prosper. The plan of God for you is not of evil. But of good. To give you an expected end. A good future. Let me speak to somebody here. You are afraid of tomorrow. Say to your mind, God has undo tomorrow for you. You are afraid of tomorrow. Say to it today. God has undoed your tomorrow for you. Your future is secure, brothers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your future is secured. Your future is secured in his hand. Your future is secured in his is a job 42 job 42 verse 2 says i know you can do all things and none of your plan for my life can be thwarted i know you can do all things none of your plan for my life can be thwarted i decree the plan of god over your life sir will not fail this is a prayer time. This is a covenant hour. I decree by the word of the Lord, the plan, the purpose of God over your life will not fail. It will not fail. It will not fail. It will not fail in the name of Jesus. Let me quickly show you four important things you must understand about next level. Four important things you must understand about next level. The first thing, understand that you are born with glory. 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 The earlier you understand this dimension, the better. The earlier you understand that you are born with glory, irrespective of where you are giving birth to, you are born with glory you may come you may come to earth naked but you are loaded with potential you may come to earth with naked but you are loaded with potential there are a glory embedded in you there are a grace given to you you are not an ordinary person you are loaded with glory ah i speak from now all your glory will manifest your glory will manifest your glory will manifest your glory will manifest the bible says we are born with glory john 17 verse 5 the bible says and now O father glorify thou me with thy own self with the glory which i had with thee before the world was there is a glory God have with thee before the world was founded? Hallelujah! Before the world, Jeremiah chapter one, the Bible said, "Before you were born, I knew you. Before your mother conceived you, I know you." Listen to me, people of God. There is a glory of God that you are born with, 
And when that glory is revealed over your life, things begin to happen in a, in a different dimension. I announce over your life, there will be revelation of the glory that you are born with. In the name of Jesus, you have capacity for more glory. In the Prahas I saw in that scripture that we are reading that if you understand that you are born with the glory, you also must know that you have capacity for more. Somebody say more. You have capacity for more. Somebody say more. That means that the glory of yesterday is not enough. I have capacity for more. The glory of yesterday is not enough. I have capacity for more. Lord, I ask, oh Lord, increase my capacity that I can accommodate more glory, more glory, more glory. In 1 Kings chapter 4, verse 3, the Bible talks about a widow. The Bible says, Then he said, a prophet talking to a widow, Go, borrow the vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels borrow not a few. It takes a man that understands this dimension of increased capacity for more glory that enter into next level of glory. Until you begin to pant, until you begin to task, until you begin to increase your capacity. The man of God said, go and borrow not a few. Go and borrow not a few. Can I say to you, the next level of glory God is taking you to, please, Build capacity, increase capacity, increase capacity. Until you increase it, you will not enter into next. Until you increase it, you will not enter into next level. There is a need for you to enter into next level, but God will not waste his resources. It, do you notice in that scripture? Do you notice in that first thing that it was when the empty vessel was filled up, and there was no more to fill that that resource ceased. Glory flows constantly in a capacity that is being enlarged on a daily basis. Glory comes when a capacity is 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 being increased, being enlarged on a daily basis. Excuse me, sir. You are more than where you are now. Excuse me. There is more to you. There is more to you. There is more to you. There is more to you than what you are doing now. There is more to. Excuse me. Can I say to you, brothers and sisters, increase your capacity. The whole world is waiting for you. Don't be a local champion here. Yeah. Don't be a local champion. There is more to you. Enlarge your capacity. Don't allow your situation to put you there. Don't allow your background to put you on the ground. There is more. 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 Enlarge your territory. Enlarge your coast. In the name of Jesus, can I announce to somebody, God of heaven, increase your capacity to see, capacity to hear, capacity to quest for more of glory in the name of Jesus. That is who you are. You are born with glory. You are born with glory. And that you are born with glory, you can develop a capacity for more. Number two, the second important thing that you must know if you must enter into the next level is a dissatisfied heart. A dissatisfied heart. A dissatisfied heart. Listen to me. You cannot enter into the next level of glory if you are not dissatisfied with where you are presently. Many of you, you are too satisfied with where you are in a rented apartment. That is why God is not opening doors for you. You are too satisfied. You are too satisfied. You are too satisfied. Until you carry a dissatisfied heart, you can't move into the next level. It takes a man that is dissatisfied that enter into the next level of glory. Look at what the scripture says. There was a day in Genesis chapter 32 verse 26. Genesis 32 verse 26. There was a day. Jacob found himself in a particular place. He was preparing to meet his, his brother and he slept in a place and God appeared. There was an open heaven. The angel came descending and suddenly Hallelujah. The Bible says in verse 26, he wrestled with the angel and he said, let me go. Angel was talking to a mortal man. Let me go for the day break. And he said, a mortal man was talking to an angel. He said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. O Pratos Kerendala Bosch Katalea. I release an heart that is dissatisfied 
with whatever you have achieved. There is more for you to achieve. Let the heart begin to burn in you right now in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. Jacob said, sincerely speaking, I am born of Abraham. I am blessed of Isaac, but I am not satisfied. I need my own name. I don't want to rejoice in the name of my father. Give me my own name. Change. Do something. Bless me. It is only the blessings of God that make it a man rich without sorrow. Bless me. It is only the blessing of God that raises man to the highest pedestal. Bless me. Jacob was not asking for anything. He was asking for blessing. I release a blessing spiritual blessings over your life now receive blessings in the name of Jesus he said bless me and the angel has no option than to bless him the angel has no option than to bless him can I speak to somebody here a dissatisfied heart recognizes that this is not my best this is not the best of me hey a dissatisfied heart recognizes that this is not my best 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 i am convicted as a minister to reach the world not just ordinary locality i am convicted by god that as a minister kings must listen to me how many people has listened to you how many people have come to the knowledge of god through you a dissatisfied are you go nowhere when you are still satisfied with where you are Get dissatisfied. Indre Pataskalaba. Get dissatisfied. Indre Potoskelebo. Get dissatisfied. One day, the friend of a guy that was paralyzed took him. Be, they were dissatisfied of his begging. They were dissatisfied of what he was doing. He, they took him and they looked for where to locate Jesus. There was no space. The Bible says they entered through the roof and they entered to Jesus. Exact where Jesus was seated. That was where they dropped him. And Jesus Christ said, he said, this is a great faith. Listen to me, people of God, I beg you by the masses of God, until you are dissatisfied in a rented apartment, until you are dissatisfied with barrenness, until you are dissatisfied with what is happening to you, until you are dissatisfied with what you are passing through now, there can be next level of glory. I say to you, get dissatisfied. Until you recognize that this is not your best. Excuse me, sir. This is not your best. 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 Move. Get into what God has ordained for you. Get into what God has ordained for you. One day, Jesus Christ has done exploit. He has moved here and there. Mark 4, 35. He has moved here and there. Heal and do several things. And suddenly, he said to his disciples, he said, we have dwelt long here. Let's cross to the other side. Hey! If Jesus Christ could tell his disciples to move to the other side. Excuse me, move. Move! Move! You have been there all this while, not doing good for your dear life. Move! Move! What is it that your wife is saying to you on a daily basis and, you are, and it's as if you don't want to... Excuse me, wake up, wake up, wake up, move! Jesus Christ said to his disciples, and the same day, when the evening was come, he said unto them, Mark 4, 35, let us pass over unto the other side. Pass over unto the other side. Pass over unto... Let me pray for somebody here. In the mighty name of Jesus, every limitation for you to move to the other side, every limitation to move to your next level is broken now. It's broken now. It's broken now. It's broken now. In the name of Jesus, every limitation stopping you to pack into your own apartment is broken now. In the name of Jesus, every limitation stopping you to get a good job is broken now. In the name of Jesus, listen to me. You must enter into a level of a dissatisfied heart. That is the next important thing that pushes you into your next level of glory. The third thing, as I lined up today, the third thing that moves you into your next level, the Bible says, 
and I saw you must crave or desire for new glory. Crave or desire for what? For new glory. New glory. I saw something in the scripture and I yearn after it. Moses was a man of God that saw God face to face. Moses, through Moses, terrible signs and wonders occur in the land of Egypt. Through Moses, let see parted. Through Moses, Mara water turns sweet. Through Moses, I see terrible things in righteousness was shot through that guy. But at the time in Exodus 33, verse 13 and 14, Exodus 33, verse 13 and 14, a craving and a desire for new glory. Moses said, Now, therefore, I pray thee, if I have found grace in thy sight, show me now thy way, that I may know thee, that I may find grace in thy sight, and consider that this nation is thy people. Look at verse 14. Verse 14, the Bible says, And he said, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. Listen to me, people of God. What else did Moses want? Moses that stand and said, Today I want you to know that there is a difference between he that he see God face to face and he that did not see God. And that God speak to in the dream. And he said, None of you will die a natural death. And seriously speaking, the land opened up and swallowed them. Yet this same man said, I crave for new glory. Listen to me, nobody enter into the next level of glory without craving. Let a desire of next level come. Let a desire of next level come. Let a desire of next level come. Let a desire of next level come upon you. Look at another person. Paul, the Bible says, Paul, after doing several kind of miracles, wrought signs, and starts churches every year and year, was just doing work for God and it was making a lot of sense. Suddenly, he just came to Philippians chapter 3, verse 10. Philippians chapter 3, verse 10. He said, That I may know this. At the level of working. As an apostle, he has done all manner of signs and wonders. He came to a point that, excuse me, I am not satisfied with the past. I want new things. That I may know thee and the power of the resurrection. No wonder that Paul is loaded with revelation. Because he is desiring of new things. Of new things. One day he said, all my desire is that I will get hold of God. <laughs> I will get hold of God. Let me pray for somebody. A craving for new thing. You just build one house. And you and you and and you, you are not allowing us to rest. Ah, there are more to build. There are more to build. You have one B2. And you'll be using it to disturb anybody. You use water. You splash water on everybody around. Because of B2. What will people using good car? What will they do? What do I eat? Can I pray for you? As you crave for new glory, next level of glory, let that craving battle delivery in your life in the name of Jesus. The fourth thing is next level of glory comes by the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Look at that scripture in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. He said, you move from glory to glory by the Spirit of the Lord. Next level of glory come by the Spirit of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, get set for the move of the Spirit of God now. Can I tell you, sincerely speaking, the Spirit of God, when it comes upon a man, it makes what you cannot do with your energy done with ease. When the Spirit of God comes upon a man, it makes life easy. 
He makes movement easy. He makes things happen very quickly. What your 10 years of effort, your 50 years of effort will bring to you when the Spirit of God comes upon you, it comes in 5 seconds. Hear that parable. What your 50 years of effort will bring to you when the Spirit of God comes upon you, it comes in five seconds. Can I pray for somebody here? Let there be baptism of the Holy Ghost upon you that make your war, your life, everything about you come with ease in the name of Jesus. Look at what the Bible says in Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6. Then he answered and speak unto me saying, this is the word of God unto Zerubbabel saying, not by mind. Your effort cannot make it happen. Your effort cannot take you to the next glory. Your effort cannot land you into the place of expansion. Your effort cannot take you to the place of prosperity. No, by power. You have limited power to enter into this next level, next level of glory I'm talking about. It is not by mind. It is not by power. But by my spirit, says the Lord of us. It is not by power. It is not by connection. It is by the spirit of God. It is not by power. It is by the spirit of God. It is not by strength. It is by the spirit of God. It is not that I know people. It is by the spirit of God. Get set for an outpour of the grace and the power of the Holy Ghost that will push you. Get you connected from one place to the other. Get ready for the move into the next glory. Get ready for the move of God that will catapult you to the next place. Yeah, of God for your life rise to your feet uh, and enter into it enter into your next level in move 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 it's your time you don't joke you don't joke if you are really panting after next level of glory command it 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 in the name of Jesus it is not by power it is not by connection Holy Spirit come upon me for my next level come upon me for my next level I enter into it enter into it there is baptism of the Holy Ghost that is taking you Diana baptism of the Holy Ghost taking you Diana in the name of Jesus God is opening ways for you where you cannot imagine Holy Spirit is going ahead of you in the name of Jesus. Is your advocator? Is your advocator? Is your advocator? Now, 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 let the Spirit of God raise up your right hand before heaven. I lift it higher and command in the name of Jesus. I command Holy Spirit to bring a pass my way. Holy Spirit. Is bringing help us my way. Is this the best way you can pray? Holy Spirit, bring help us my way. Holy Spirit, bring help us my way. Holy Spirit, bring help us my way. In Nampa Sakala, I can take a lay. In Repatasha, in Palabolabosha, I click at the Brandobalava, I click at the Brandobosha. Holy Spirit, bring help us my way. A pass of destiny, a pass of ministry, a pass of life, a pass of life, a pass of marriage. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. I will not lack ever. I will not lack ever. I will not lack ever. Next level of glory. Announce it, announce it, announce it, announce it, announce it, announce it. God can pick you from this locality and introduce you to the world. God can pick you by His Spirit, by His Spirit, by His Spirit. What my effort cannot get done, Holy Spirit, get it done for me. I have tried. I'm waiting on you, Holy Spirit. Get it done for me. Get it done for me. Get it done for me. In the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. By the Spirit of the Lord. Draw destiny epas. Destiny epas. Enter into it now. You have one more minute to enter into it. It's a covenant Sunday. Don't joke with it at all. Don't joke with it. Don't joke with it. Enter, enter, enter into it. 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 Every troubled heart. Every troubled heart. Every troubled heart receive settlement now. Receive settlement now. In the name of Jesus, uh, enter into next level of glory. Hey, enter, 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 enter. Oh, this congregation, enter. These people, enter. Believers, Heritage Baptist Church, enter into the next level of glory. In the name of Jesus, uh, it is your time to shine. It is your time to enter into the place of glory. No shame. Rebook shame. Cancel shame. Cancel shame. 
cancel shame, cancel shame, glory, glory instead of shame, double portion of glory in the name of Jesus, double portion of glory. Nah, 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 adieu, go the crown of glory, the crown of glory, the crown of glory, the crown of glory in the name of Jesus. I enter into it, I enter into it, I enter into it, garment of glory. For, for, for purposeful living, garment of glory for expansion in Palabalabasha, in Klekeketekele, in Dalabalabalabala, in Drepalabosha, in Klaparam Brother for connection. Oh, are you asking the Lord divine connection for glory? Divine connection for glory in the name of Jesus. I sense strongly in my eye, in my eye, that the glory of the Lord is overshadowing you now, 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 now. Enter into it, enter into it, enter into it. Enter into it, enter into it. This week, they will remember you for good at the place of war and they will promote you because it's your time to enter into next level of glory. Receive it now, 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 receive it now. What is not working before is working now. What is not working before is working now. I see the glory of the Lord changing things. I see the glory of the Lord changing things. I see the glory of the Lord changing things. I see the glory of the Lord changing things. In Ampala, Iketepa, Amparandosa, Indro Palambrode, Yekeledadosa, Akoli Andaza. New glory, 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 new glory. It is your week of new glory, your month of new glory advance in health advance in power advance in glory advance in anointing in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus by the spirit of the lord rest recovery in the name of jesus in the parabola in the name of jesus no one is holding you down anymore you are moving you are moving you are moving you are expanding you are expanding you are expanding it is the covenant service enter into glory enter into next level of glory enter into next level of glory enter into next level of glory in the name of jesus in the name of jesus no one will be sick in your house no death of any kind no death of vision no death of purpose nothing nothing evil happen to you you are preserved by the power of the holy ghost you are preserved by the power of the Holy Ghost, where you cannot fight for yourself, God is fighting for you. God is fighting for you. God is defending you. God is defending you. Now, nah. oh, you are walking glory. Walking glory. Rise in glory. Walking glory. Rise in glory. Walking glory. Arise and shine for thy life has come. The glory of the Lord is risen. Upon the leave your fellow, leave your fellow. If that person is not ready, talk to God personally. This is my month of glory. I'm entering into it. I'm entering into it. No more shame in my life. No more shame in my place of work. I enter into it. I enter into it. The Lord said to me, Lord, remember me in my low estate. Remember me in my low estate. In the name of Jesus, I move. I move in power, in grace. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Lift up your two hands above your head. I stand as a saint servant because of the covenant of grace and call. I command everyone under the sound of my voice, everyone watching, listening. Everyone hearing me, I command a covenant of next level of glory in the name of Jesus. Now enter into it. 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 Everything limiting you is over. Is destroyed. Is removed. Is removed. Is removed. Is removed. It's removed. It's removed. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. 
You are blessed. When the Lord blesses a man, he's blessed. No one can curse you. You are blessed. In the name of Jesus, I, I command glory to emanate from you. You become a reference point of glory. Hey. You become a reference point of glory. 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 I have a word for somebody. God is rewarding your labor of law. God is rewarding your labor of war. Receive new eyes to see. Receive new eyes to see. God enlarges your capacity, your task. In the name of Jesus, new level of glory move into it. It is done. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. Praise the Lord. We give God glory today for His faithfulness. Thank God this covenant Sunday is your Sunday of supernatural glory experiencing glory in every area of your life. The Spirit of God is at work for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for coming to service today. Thank you for worshiping with us. God bless you real good. Join us again on Wednesday as we continue this series of marriage, issues of marriage, series on marriage. We are, we are moving into the principles that makes marriage work. The principles that makes marriage work. Please don't listen to it alone. Listen to it with your wife, with your husband, with your children. It's going to bless your life. God bless you. I will see you on Wednesday again. And please, let's sit together and enjoy God's grace. Please don't allow the revival fire of God to die in you because you are at home. Please, this is the best time to retreat. This is the best time to read the word. This is the best time to pray. God bless you. If you need any other information, please, you will see it on the screen. You contact us and the Lord keep you. Shall we rise as we close? Father, we thank you for this new level of glory in the month of May. We decree glory will forever be our portion in the name of Jesus. As you go, the Lord go with you. The Lord bless you. And it will straighten your path. It will level every mountain. And it will cause every valley to be evacuated. Now and forevermore. Amen.